we are going to look at how this thing is powered. We only use high quality brands within this from Europe. We have a 120 litre tank on there that supplies the hydraulic fluid down to our very high efficiency Bondioli and Pavese piston pump that goes through to our Acon SPV120 valve. On hot days, we have coupled this with a cooler as well, which is just sat behind the valve, which keeps your system running nice and efficiently and keeps your running costs down as well. Dialing this in and out from the cab uses a PWM control box. This system is more efficient because if it's dialed off, the system's off and it's not eating energy from your truck. So you're burning less fuel, you're creating less heat in your hydraulic system as well. Once it's dialed up, it then goes down to our Permco motor, which is coupled to our water pump. The Hydrico water pump is the industry standard for any water truck out there, basically. It's a cast iron product. It's nice and robust. It's USA designed. It's manufactured, machined and built and tested here in Victoria, Australia. You have the local support. It has a great lifespan as well. This is the most dependable, robust pump we can have running on this truck, especially when it's coupled with the Permco M197 motor. The Acon SPV120 also has a manual override option. So in case your electronics do go down, um, you can still manually operate it as well. The Acon SPV120 valve is all assembled and tested here in Victoria, Australia as well. We have a 100% test policy before anything goes out the door to make sure it's going to be there and working when it's fitted to the truck, commissioned and out in the field. The MP filtry high pressure filter in the system allows you to have longer intervals between service periods as well, keeping your system healthy and running harder. Whitelaw Hydraulics have been working very, very closely with STG over the years and we've come to help develop this water truck system together. Things weren't changing in the field. People were not open to the change from a gear product to the piston product. We're pushing the boundaries and we're having a more efficient system that comes in. It's going to be better for the owners and operators as well, especially when you can dial things in and get the water where you need it, along with saving fuel and energy. So when you compare the direct drive system to the hydraulic system, you can really see the investment that you're making. You get the incremental control and, and you also get a lot more finer movements with the pump. 